Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna go over a data communication issue on a J1939. We see a lot of this on Volvos, guys, so hopefully this information helps you if you're having an issue with your J1939. So guys, make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed to us yet, and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. If you got any questions or concerns about your truck, please leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to help. Or you can call us during a weekday at 972-225-3017. Let's get right into this video. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law. Okay guys, on this particular truck we have an issue with a J1939 data link. Okay, so uh, basically this J1939 is what hooks all your computers together so they can communicate with each other. Most trucks are gonna have multiple computers on them. They're gonna have computers for the brake system, the after treatment system, the engine, and also the cab. In some cases, if you have an automatic, you're gonna have a, a separate ECM for that as well. So if you have an issue with the J1939 data link where it, one ECM is not able to communicate with another, you're gonna get fault codes, you're gonna have issues, and in some cases, you could have a no start. The J1939 data link is actually installed during manufacturing, so it's ran throughout the entire truck, the cab, the chassis, the engine. Uh, this is so that the manufacturers can have different options to tie into them. But if you're not tying into them, there's going to be resistors in place uh, where, where they need to be. If not, you're going to cause an issue in that circuit, and you can actually cause a failure to one of the computers. So it's very important if you're doing anything with the J1939 that you're following the instructions correctly. Okay, so when you're not following manufacturer's instructions when tying into the J1939, you can have some issues. And this is what happened in this case. Someone actually tied into the J1939. Uh, if, for example, they wanted to get engine information for their e-log, uh, and it ended up triggering different kind of faults. We had faults on the ABS side, we had faults on the engine side, on the after treatment side. But as I mentioned before, they were all related to the J1939. So what we had to do is troubleshoot the circuit to verify that the continuity was correct in the circuit. As I mentioned, if you're not using uh, some portions of the circuit, there's a resistor in place. In this case, someone actually removed that resistor to install this e-log system. When the e-log system was removed, the resistor wasn't returned. So what, end, what happened over time is the resistance in one of the ECMs ended up failing and causing actual communication issues internally on the ECM. This is why it's very important to get these trucks checked out if you have any issues on your J1939 or if you want to add any third party, third party components to your J1939. Okay guys, so that's what we found in this particular truck. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed to us yet and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. If you want to share your experience, please leave it in the comments below. Also, if you got any questions or concerns, you can call us during the weekday at 972-225-3017. Guys, until next time, be safe. the law